Hello everyone, my name is Nick Marcellino and this is my 2004 Monte Carlo SS Intimidator SS. I got this car about five years ago, so it's coming up as five years now. I got this car in August uh, five years ago. Now this car is very special to me. It's the first car I ever bought and I take very good care of this car and anyone that, that, that knows me can tell you that. So what I use to wash my car is I use soap, so you can get it at Pet Boys, any car, uh, car care shop that you go to, service shop, anything like that. Very cheap, very easy to find. Um, then I use Armor Wall, wax. Armor Wall is for the inside of the car, for the door panels, all the rubber pieces on the outside of the car so you don't crack. Over time, your rubber pieces can crack. So what you do is you put a little Armor Wall on all the rubber parts of the car. So that it lasts longer and there's white you can also get rubber restorer so you can make it all black again make it look like you're brand new like you bought off the uh, lot of the dealership what I also use is that I use a vacuum a shop vac I open all my door I open all the doors of my car wash all the insides carpets I wash the mats with I wash the wash the mats with the soap out on the um, driveway so I get all the dirt and grime and dust out of there I also use is leather wipes. Now what I do with the leather wipes, I have leather seats, so I wipe everything that I have in leather. The center console, for instance, that's all leather. I wipe that down. All the seats, all the headrests, and even my steering wheel cover. And I also use Windex. Windex, I personally think, is the best to use. Soap gets all the, you know, all the dirt, dust and grime from the outside elements. But the towels leave streaks and everything. So if you don't want streaks or any fingerprints in your car, I spray the outside, wipe it, and I spray inside and I wipe it as well. So the last thing on my list what I do is that uh, I wash my car with a product called rim, rim Shine. And I spray each spoke of the, of the rim with it, wipe it in. It takes all the dust, grime, brake dust, anything that is, you know, dirt related on the tire, takes it right off. It's a great product. And what it, lastly but not least, I have a product called Wet Tire, and that makes your tire black, um, and it, and it makes, makes it really pop. So a lot of people ask me, Nick, why is there a speaker in the back of your trunk? Well, this speaker is, also, is actually called a subwoofer. Now this subwoofer is a 10 inch sub and it has a 500 watt amp on the back of the sub. Now this, this provides you with heavy bass, so if there's a song with heavy bass, it sounds really good. Uh, the whole car basically vibrates, the whole trunk. Sometimes it's so heavy you can hear the, rat, the license plate rattle on the bottom. This is the Pioneer radio. It also has HD radio, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth settings, like I said before, Spotify, Pandora, um, iPod, has an aux too and it also has HD radio too. So over the winter break I also got uh, four new speakers. I got Pioneer speakers, Theory C's. These are two-way speakers so I got two ways in the front and also two ways in the back. Now two ways means that there's a tweeter here so just the vocals come out of there and the bass and the bass is the bigger part of speakers. So there you have it. This is my car, my 2004 Monte Carlo. So that's how I take care of it, wash it, I change out the sound system, new radio subwoofer and speakers, everything else. This is personally, I think, the best investment I ever made.